Mongrel and Sway are both absolute legends, man. Their lightning fast builds, pinpoint accuracy, and unique styles have allowed them to dominate their respective scenes. These two phase clan members are just some of the most accomplished and looked up to players out there. They're among the best of the best of the best, and they've absolutely raised the bar with what's possible. But one question remains, who's the better player? What's going on guys? It's the motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good time, a good week. If you're not, I want you to continue going forward, man. Know that I believe in you. Know that the sky is not the limit. Whatever you've made a mistake in, just know that you got to keep trying to get better. That's all you need to do. So keep going. This is going to be the best year of your life. You guys ready? I hope you are. Connect with me on my Instagram. We're posting up vids to inspire you to be great in this game and also in life. So today, we're gonna be comparing these two superstars, all right? I'm gonna be going through five different categories, 1v1s, building, aiming, competitive, and game sense. Scoring each player one to 10 pro guys points per group for their overall skill and impressiveness. And in the end, we're gonna compare results to find out who's the better player, Mongrel or Sway. I'm gonna need all the help I can get, can't be, I gotta be honest about that. So be sure to comment down below and just let me know what you guys think about these comparison videos, all right? If you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, click the link below to go to ProGuys.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuys and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. We recently updated Mongrel's master course for chapter two, so make sure to check that out on ProGuys.com and be sure to drop a like on this video and show your support. All right, guys, it's time to sit back, <laughs> relax, and you gotta get my favorite candy. I went to the movies this weekend, man, and tow it up. It's called that Bunch of Crunch and let's get this going. First up, one versus ones. Between Sway's aggressive builds and Mongrel's insane speeds, my goodness, we're in for a tightly contested category. Now, both of our players spend a lot of their time battling it out in this game mode, I get it. And it's not rare at all to see Mongrel dueling against Mitro or another one of his pro buddies in between games. For him, it's mostly about developing skills and viable muscle memory that he can just go and apply to scrims and tournament matches. When 1v1ing, what Mongrel likes to do is take height and he likes to hold it. He doesn't make many hyper aggressive plays forcing himself into his enemy's box or anything like that instead he keeps his position and he looks for either safe edit plays or chip damage so that he could just get his opponents low and just go for the finish 1v1ing and other creative modes are what sway considers this game to be all about he has minimum interest in battle royale okay what he instead want to do is spend his time making youtube content and playing wagers against other top pros with how much time and effort sway puts into creative battles it's turned him into an absolute 1v1 master for a variety of factors, okay? Like, when he comes to reading his opponents, Sway seldom loses sight of his target. Even if he hasn't spotted them in a while or he can't see what they're about to do, his incredible mental awareness allows him to know exactly what his opponent is about to do next. If Sway loses high ground, he knows how to keep himself protected by executing seriously complex retakes. There's a reason why everyone says face Sway whenever someone starts like cranking out a ridiculous amount of bills. Because Sway is famous for these retakes, man, that keep him protected and confuse his opponents. The retakes he does sometimes is like very complicated, but every action is deliberate and with a purpose. Now, all right, so there's no better comparison to find out who's better at 1v1ing than by looking at the time Mongrel and Sway famously went head to head. The hype was like crazy insane with this match. Everyone wanted to see who was better, so they scheduled a fight with serious cash going to the winner. So both our boys were given it all they got. It started off with Sway dishing out aggression against Mongrel that he couldn't handle, giving him an early lead. Eventually, Mongrel caught on to Sway's tricks and that aggression backfired for the next couple of rounds. Sway kept up with the assault and even though Mongrel was playing a bit more carefully, he was still leaving openings for Sway to capitalize on. Eventually, Mongrel got a few more kills, but Sway was able to close it out and grab the prize. 1v1ing is close, but we're giving Sway nine points and Mongrel seven. Why? Because they're both exceptional but in comparison, 1v is just more Sway's feel, to be real. He's a lot more experienced and comfortable with these build battles, so he wins this round. All right, guys, so now on to building. We're also throwing in editing as well, since that's a big part of the building mechanic, right? And it's just as important to consider. 
Now, both of our players have very similar building styles, very quick and very flashy. Sway's just a tad bit more stylish though. It's almost like he learned some build techniques just for the show of it. <laughs> Not to knock him or anything like that. His, it's clearly a style that works for him. So you know what? He got to keep doing it. And it looks really amazing. He focuses on making YouTube content. So it makes sense for him to show off his flashy moves to his fans. And all things considered, his building is very controlled. He places pieces really quickly and he rarely messes up. Wow, that guy's amazing. Not only that, but his edits and resets are like really quick. Considering how high of a sensitivity he plays on, his control of the sticks is second to none. However, 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 Mongrel wins when it comes to raw speed. Brother is fast. Since he's on a keyboard and mouse, naturally he's able to go faster than a controller ever could imagine. And we've all seen how much Mongrel moves his arm around when he plays. He puts so much effort into his quick movements. Seeing him go earthquake mode, oh my goodness, it scares all of us. Sometimes he's too fast and it ends up messing him up when it matters. But that's sort of a trade-off he takes. Like when he goes to edit 95% of the time, he's landing the edit in the blink of an eye. But there's the 5% chance where he's so fast, he actually messes up. And then he has to edit it for a second or third try. It was a hard choice, but both these guys are equally awe-inspiring when it comes to building. Mongo technically might be a bit more capable since he's on keyboard and mouse, sure. But with Sway's near-perfect execution on high sensitivity, man, this guy's no slouch when it comes to keeping up on a controller. And that's the impressive part for us. The fact that Sway can build and play so insanely well on a controller. We're giving both Mongo and Sway 9 points on this one. So they tie this category, folks. It's on and cracking. All right, now on to the next one. Now, before we hop into the next category, I just wanna ask you guys, do you wanna see a face sway course? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, so it's tough to decide who's the better aimer because of the device difference. On the one hand, you got Sway playing on a controller, which of course has aim assist. On the other hand, Mongrel on keyboard and mouse and doesn't have anything like that to rely on, all right? Not that we're saying aim assist gives Sway his aim, okay? It's nothing like that. But it's just really hard to directly compare the two with just how different the devices are. The thing with keyboard and mouse is just how versatile it is. It allows Mongo to flick at ridiculously fast speeds and land shots that seem impossible, which he incorporates into his aim style a lot. You know, you often see him land these crazy shots using the purely muscle memory he spent so much time developing. That's why we gotta practice. Since Sway's on a controller, his ability to precisely flick gets pretty limited. His next level tracking and crosshair placement makes up for it though. You know, perfect crosshair placement. One of the biggest reasons he barely misses. Building up on an opponent, he's gonna point sort of down and toward them since he knows he's gonna have to aim in that direction. He places his reticle exactly where it needs to when it needs to be there so that his movements are minimum and he whiffs fewer shots. When it comes to the tracking department, neither of our players struggle here. They're both highly capable when it comes to landing these long range rifle shots. However, I think that was Sway's usual play style of getting up close and personal. He's just not as used to those scenarios when you gotta beam players. Mongrel has some of the best tracking aim like we've ever seen in life. <laughs> Anytime somebody glides near him or he spots someone on a rotate, he can always get at least two or three shots in pretty quickly. When the infantry rifle was around, Mongrel was a beast at using that thing, man. We never tire of hearing him scream out, lasered, or he's white. He's an absolute nutter and we love it. Honestly, it was a little tough to decide on this one. You know, we think with all things considered, Sway has slightly better close range aim with SMGs and shotguns. He closes out kills so quickly with these weapons, man. But at longer ranges, from most of what we've seen, Mongo is absolutely amazing and he blows Sway out of the park on this one. For us, Sway's aim is an eight and Mongo's is a nine. It's really close, but Mongo gets the edge on this one. Even though it might seem a little unfair to talk about competitive results when comparing these two, it's kind of sort of needed. Competitive battle royale is insanely tricky and it has its own unique skill set. You gotta be able to know things like how to rotate, the right situations to take fights, and how to clutch when circumstances don't go your way. Have you ever been in a circumstance that doesn't go your way? <laughs> you gotta know what to do from there. Like we said before, Sway doesn't focus on Battle Royale anyway. Even though that's where all the prize money is, he still doesn't participate very often. You know, obviously staying away from BR has worked out for him, but we've got a few results we can look at. So, all right, back in July, Sway played a couple of cash cups with Tifu and Clicks, and unsurprisingly, they did just fine. 
You, you don't have to be a genius to figure they were going to do that. Two top 20 finishes while playing with the newly formed squad. Wow. And he almost made the top 50 in a solo event in September. Clearly, Sway is very capable of playing competitively. <laughs> if he puts more time into it and finds a decent squad that he meshes well with, I'm sure he could consistently place in the money for every single event. It's just a matter of whether he finds that to be a valuable use of his time. Playing in community-run, non-BR events is more sway speed. Tournaments like Kangarna's Wednesday Wagers or UMG's Friday Fortnite, where he actually has some pretty consistent results. He's even beaten in place above top pros like Zexro, Stretch, and fellow clan member Dubs. There's no doubting Sway's ability to compete. I think staying away from Battle Royale is just more of a personal decision for him. I don't know what it is, but hey, I gotta respect it. Mongrel, on the other hand, has some top-tier competitive results that he could be proud of. He's proven time and time again that he's one of the most clutch pros out there. Most most famously, we saw him play at the World Cup in both solos and duos, then after two excellent placements, may I add, that earned him over a quarter of a million dollars. Mongrel, can I borrow some money, please? He goes on to form the most dominant trio season X we saw with Mitro and Benji Fishy. To say he's done well competitively would be an understatement. His performance has been exceptional. So who do we give it to? Well. Well, based on their results and overall willingness to play, it's Mongrel by a long shot. He's getting nine points here and Sway's nabbing himself only six. Finally, my friends, our last category, the most important, I believe, Game Sense, AKA, who's got the biggest brain? Again, it's hard to directly compare the two because Sway's mainly a creative, you know, type of guy, but that's not a big deal, all right? We can definitely draw some conclusions by watching him dominate Zone Wars and 1v1s. People don't really appreciate how much game sense you need to be successful at 1v1s, man. Being able to find kills against top players when there are infinite materials isn't the most straightforward task. You gotta be able to predict or track your opponent's movement and create openings for yourself, and Sway does this with no problem. Seeing him play Zone Wars is also a treat. It seems like in every single round, he takes control of height, he isolates players, and he sneaks up on them for kills. He's actually just so deadly in this mode. He always sets himself up to fight one-on-one -on -one whenever he can, which is the right approach to take in Storm Wars. He's not even afraid of jumping in boxes, even though traps are enabled. Anytime he gets inside a one-by-one, -one, the enemy's dead before they realize even what's going on. Conversely, Mongrel has plenty more of the knowledge needed for Battle Royale, like understanding where and when to rotate, or when to disengage from a fight and strike back another time. His box fighting capabilities are also some of the best. Like, whenever Mongrel's up against a player W King him in the Cash Cup or something like that, he reads his opponent to a T. He's not always responding with some mechanically intense play, but he's always smart. And if that means holding his gun out, he does that. If it means, you know, making an aggressive edit, he does that. It depends on the circumstances and how his opponents are playing, which is great game sense. And that's what really it is all about. Both their game sense is on point, but again, with more experience in Battle Royale field, Mongo knows a bit more when it comes to rotations, early game fights, map knowledge, and knowing how to read opponents in all sorts of scenarios. For this one, my friend, Sway's gonna get a seven, and Mongo's going to get eight. So, if we tally their scores up, we've got Sway ending at 39 points, but Mongrel's a small step above him with 42. So, it was close. I gotta give these guys a round of applause for this one. Bravo, bravo. But in our opinion, Mongrel is overall the most skilled player. We still love you, Sway, because you're really good. Of course, if you disagree, hey, let us know in the comments down below. We got none but love, all right? We just, it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We know everyone's gonna have their own opinion and formulate their own conclusions on this one. So try to be a little gentle down there, guys. All right, thank you. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, it's the motivation guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen, man. I'm rooting for you. Come on now. I'm your number one fan, so keep going. Don't surrender. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't even say that word. I hate that word, quit. Don't even say it. Don't even think it. Keep going, guys. Connect with me on my Instagram. I want to inspire you guys to be great in this game and also in life, all right? We hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to use code PROGUYS when you make any sort of purchases. You know, it really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below below what you thought about this video and what you like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. Thanks for watching.